Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at a free update to the unwrapping toolbox. I've added some new features that let you have more control over your final UVs and clean up the workflow to save you even more time. So let's check it out. So first, if you're not familiar with the tool, it's a quick interactive way to create UVs for your model without having to work in the UV editor. I'll just do a quick demo of the tool here so you can get an idea of the workflow. So you click the unwrap button here in the shelf to launch the tool and you get this little window here. And then I've got my model here. It doesn't really have any UVs yet, just some extrusions that I did. So the first thing that you can do is you can turn on the checker map, which is helpful. So you can see what you're doing and you can use plus and minus. So if you want to zoom in, you can see the size of the checker squares minus if you want to zoom out and still see the size of the checker squares. And then the first thing that I do is I click this button here, add planar map, and that just puts a planar map through the asset from wherever the camera is. So if you did it here, you're going to get that. If you do it from the side, you're going to get that. Just a quick way to get UVs on your model to start. And then from there, you can start uh, cutting up the model. So you click this button here, the 3D cut and sew tool, and that enters the tool. And then if you just mark up edges by double clicking, you can see the shell color is changing there. And you can see now there's a border edge there. You can see over there. So I'm just going to mark up those shells there. And uh, sure, I'm just going to drag select this guy. If you drag select, it will cut as you drag around instead of clicking. And then I'm going to click the unwrap button. And boom, you can see it's trying to unwrap the stuff automatically, lay it out for you, unfold it, and pack it all uh, as best that it can. So the cool thing about this tool is it's interactive. So see, I haven't actually finished my unwrap here. It's still all skewed or whatever. So I just go in, double click there, double click there, and click the unwrap button again and see it just updates there. So I'm not actually doing any work on the right side there in the UV editor. I'm doing it all in the 3D viewport here. And then the really cool thing is you don't even need to press the unwrap button. And I'll show you what that means. If you press the G key to repeat last command, this will go into the queue as the last command. So for example, I'm going to double click here. And then I'm not even going to press anything over there. I'm just going to press G on the keyboard. You'll see it will interactively unwrap over there. So I can go through, I can cut up my model, press G, cut up my model again, press G, and it'll just continue to update as you work through the model. Maybe I want one more shell here, G to unwrap it again. And then maybe I don't want the donut shapes. Maybe I want these to lay out like the other way. So if you select that one and press X on the keyboard, it's going to cut that one. And then I'll press G again. And then you can see it unfolded there and it tried to straighten it as best as it can. And so you could do that here. Double click G, not as good. Got you a half donut shape or whatever. Double click here. Press G, see what we get. A little bit better, need some straightening later on maybe. The other cool thing is if you change your mind and you found, oh, maybe that's not so good, I didn't like that unwrap. If you hold Control on the keyboard and double click, it'll sew it back together. It's all wonky here, but if you press G, it'll relay it out and then we've got clean UVs there again. So really quick way to get UVs on your model interactively without fiddling with anything over on that side. You could even do crazy stuff like this if you really wanted to. You could mark up some edges here. Mark those guys up by just click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, and it will cut that out, and you can press G again. And there you go. It unwrapped that and left the hole in the model there. Pretty cool for certain types of unwraps. And then again, you can press Control, and you can stitch all these guys back in. So stitch that in, stitch that in, and then press G again and unwrap, and it's stitched back in. Okay, and on to the new features. So uh, the first thing that I did is I just cleaned up some code in this tool. Sometimes you'd click this button and it would be kind of buggy and it would kind of deselect your model or something. So just some improvements there in the general consistency of this button working on, on different meshes. And then I've also added an exit button, which can be really helpful because once you're in this tool, you're kind of stuck in this tool. And if you hit W, sometimes it doesn't come out of the tool. If you're entered into the tool, it like won't let you out or whatever. You have to right click and you have to say exit tool. And then it doesn't go into object mode. And then you have to click object mode. So it's quite a number of clicks to get out of the tool. I found that really annoying. So once you're in the tool, you're cutting stuff up, unwrap it. And then to get out of the tool, you just come up here and you tap exit. It exits the, the tool and puts you back into object mode. So just a cleaner way to get in and out of the tool. 
Okay, and next up, we've got the uh, padding drop down now. That was a requested feature. I'm just going to put a couple more cuts in this just so we can have a better demonstration. I'll unwrap it. Okay, so we got all that weird stuff there now. So uh, every time you click the unwrap button, it's going to use this padding to space the shells out. And some people were wondering if they could have different drop downs. So here I've put the regular drop down in from my other tools. So if you wanted to pad out to 32, you can just hit unwrap again. And you'll see you're getting way more space there. You can go all the way down to four if you want it to go really tight. Almost no space there whatsoever. So uh, hopefully that is going to help people out as well. I've also added a clean non-manifold geometry button, and this can be helpful for certain shapes. So if you're not familiar with what non-manifold geometry is, I'll show you what it is. Non-manifold geometry is when you extrude an edge, and it's got one-sided edge, no thickness, and it's welded to the two verts. So I've extruded a single edge here. I've got a single face extruded. and uh, Basically, it's welded into this thing, which I guess is like not good for certain operations. So I'll just put a planar map through here quickly just to get back to, whoops, to exit the tool here, put a planar map through, get back to that. So if I try to unwrap this guy now, I'm going to enter the tool and just like put a cut here and click the unwrap button. Watch what happens. It gives me an error and it says the non-manifold geometry needs to be cleaned up before the layout and unfold stuff is going to work. And this is because I rely on the Unfold uh, 3D plugin. And anytime you try to do a layout in this newer version of the tool, not my tool, but the Maya tool, it's going to crash and it's going to say you need to clean up the non-manifold geometry. And I found this really annoying. And so I put a button in here to actually auto clean that. And so when you run into that error, you can just come in here and you can click this. And it's going to clean it. It's going to extract those vertices because that's what non-manifold geometry is. All those verts are welded. And then you can click the unwrap button and then it's going to unwrap fine. I just found it annoying having to go into the polygon cleanup stuff every time I wanted to use Unfold 3D on my model. So this button will work to clean up any type of non-manifold geometry, whether you're using this tool or you're just using a regular Maya workflow. Okay, and then finally, we've got the unfold, rotate, and scale tick box, which is the biggest feature that I've added. So I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to select an edge. I'm going to press X to cut it, and then I'm going to unwrap. Cool, we got actually like a nice straight one. And then, uh, sure, I'm going to double click there and uh, unwrap again. Got another one. Double click here. I'll just press G to redo to unwrap. Okay, and then we've got like a slightly curvy bit going on here now. So I wanted to offer a workflow where you could unwrap this thing kind of quickly with this tool, and then you could modify the UVs and like not lose your edits after. So for example, I'm just going to exit the tool here. And then let's say that you went in here and you were like pretty happy with all your UVs and whoops, just grab that guy there. And let's just say that you straightened this, whatever you straightened this, however you wanted it and you were more happy with that UV layout shape. And then you come back into the tool here and you click unwrap again, and what you'll see that happens is it just puts it right back to the previous shape. And that's because the unwrapping tool is trying its best to give you the best unfolded, laid out, and like rotated shells, but on certain shapes, it's always just gonna give you like a curvy shape or a donut instead of a square or whatever. So now what you can do when you've kind of finished your UVs or you're happy with them, let's say that you square this guy up here. Let me just grab this, grab that, square that up, square that up, whatever, good enough for this video and uh, lay it out like that. And you want to keep that little edit that you've done. And so what you can do now is you can untick this. And instead of trying to unfold it and rotate it and scale it, it's just going to do the layout when this is turned off. So now when you click the unwrap, it's going to leave that where it is, and it's not going to scale it, it's not going to rotate it, and it's not going to unfold it. So it keeps the previous shape. And I'll just do a more extreme example just so you can see what's going on. So I've made that custom edit when I'm done. And now I click this, and it's preserves my custom edit. It relays it out to try to pack it the best that it can, but it preserves my custom edit. And the other thing that it's going to do is it's not going to rotate stuff. 
So maybe I want to manually rotate that because that's the UV order that I wanted in for my unwrap. I want to paint it that way or whatever. And I click the unwrap again and see it's going to maintain its rotation because this is turned off. So that can be a great way to quickly get UVs with the tool and then craft them a little bit more to get maybe more perfect UVs that you're happy with um, after you've quickly gone in with the tool. So it will preserve in this mode when the tick box is off, it'll preserve, rotate, and scale, and not re-unfold stuff, so not mess with the shape. And so another thing that you can do is if you wanted a really small element to be bigger or smaller, you could actually scale it up and then unwrap again, and it's going to stay scaled up. Oops. And then vice versa if you scale something down and re-unwrap it's gonna stay scaled down. So that can give you further control as well. And the last really nice thing about this is I've updated the unwrapping code a little bit. So now it just works on if you have any part of the model selected. So even if I've got one UV selected here and I click the button, it's gonna find all of the stuff. And sorry, that wasn't the best example. So we'll just, let's just scale this guy down. And then I've got one UV selected here. I don't have any of this other stuff selected. I click it, and it's going to do the layout. So you don't have to worry about In the previous version of the tool, you had to like select all the UVs, and it was kind of annoying. It was just like a little bit of a, a troublesome workflow. If you've already purchased the full script pack, the UV pack, or the single script, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the full script pack or the UV mapping pack. So take your pick. Thanks for watching, everybody. Without viewers like you, this channel would not be possible. If you like this video, please purchase something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad free. See you next time. Have a superb day.